Welcome to Let's Meet Abroad. We are Adi and Mira. This year, we went on a road trip across Europe. After our adventures in Switzerland and France, we headed to Italy. And because we love mountains, we spent a full week in the Italian Dolomites. And of course, we couldn't skip the most famous and hyped destination in this area. In this video, we take you to the two best known places in the Dolomites, which you probably already know from the pictures. These are the Drisinen, also known as the Tricime di Lavaredo, and the Praxa Vilsi, also called Lago di Braes. Good morning everyone from the Dolomites. It is around 6.20 in the morning and it's pretty chilly outside. Whoa, it says zero degrees. Today we're gonna go to Dry Sinin and after that we're gonna go to Lago de Braes. And but before that we have to put all these things in the car. So let's get it done. Morning. So we had to pay 30 euros for the for this road what we are driving because this road would take us to the starting point of Dreisinen and we have to park our car there and they say that the parking there it's one of the most beautiful parking you would ever see so we are really curious for that parking and we have already prepared our breakfast and coffee to enjoy it on the parking but the other option was that we had to catch a bus and that would take us to the starting point of Dreisinen and the bus starts at 9 15 and we don't want to go that late oh my god guys uh, look <laughs> at, at the moon there that. So yeah, that's what it is. That's what we are chasing today and hopefully we could get a really nice view with nice amazing breakfast. You would know. So let's take you there. So we are at the parking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the plan was to have like a really nice breakfast outside with a beautiful view. But it's freezing, so now we're sitting in the car with a beautiful Enjoying view. Enjoying the view. Well, I'll get rid of my gloves and the banana. See, see? Still really pretty. And as you can see from the drone shot, it is just absolutely amazing. And there's still people outside, I think they go for 10 minutes, take photos and then they come back. 30 euros, it was worth it. So if you're planning to see a beautiful sunrise, we would recommend to pay 30 euros for these roads. And there's plenty of parking spots not if now. you are not <laughs> in high, high season. season. So we grabbed our bags and did a short hike to the lookout points of Drisinen and we'll see if it's really that amazing. So, do you see them? In my bag there are the famous Drisinen and to be honest I do think I have seen prettier things here in the Dolomites but these Drisinen, if you type Dolomites you always see this picture. Maybe if we go from that way, uh, the views are different and maybe they are more pretty than them. This is the Dreisinnen from another angle and I must be honest, I do think from this angle uh, it looks more impressive. It looks like what we saw in the photos before. But still, so. but still, I don't know, yeah. I mean, I think it, look, it looks cool, it's just the yeah. light which is not the best, but we had some really good shots of this mountain in the morning, but yeah. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the refugio behind us and have some warm chocolate. Yeah. Now 
it's time to head back and now we are going to our next viewpoint and that is Lago di Braes or the Praagse, Praagse Wildsee and what I said before as well everything has two names here like this one is the Draaisinne and the Trekkini but that's uh, that's something to uh, to remember when you go here that you don't get confused with her. I want to go to Lago de Braes and people talking about the Praagse Wildsee yeah. it's the same you know we, we actually got asked some we actually asked someone that where is the Draaisinne and the they security no guard, he had no idea. No. But so yeah. it's handy to know both of the names so that you, yeah, that you don't get confused. Well, let's go. So where we went, that was one path, but there's a hundred different paths and there's one really cool track which, which you have to like already decide in the beginning that if you walk from there, which is just over there, you see people like ants. I hope you can see it, but that one looks way more cooler than the one we did. Yeah, and with that you reach I think all the way up to the cliff and then you can have this amazing view. But then I think the trek is about three to four hours, I don't know because it looks pretty long. What is this bee doing here? But um, yeah, because of shortage of time, we have to go to our second checkpoint, second location. So we're gonna continue going back to the car. Well, there are guys. After exploring the area around Driesinnen, we headed further north to Praxavilsi. This lake is really famous on Instagram, therefore we were a bit scared of all the other tourists. However, we were curious enough to embrace the crowd and see if this lake is really that stunning. So what do you think about our lunch spot, Mira? Mm, so good. Very nice. And the sun is so strong, I think you can really burn in five minutes. Yeah. I try to put my head like this. So crazy. So, so we are almost about to reach our second destination, which is in Italian Lago de Brais. We are going in the afternoon, so we'll see how it goes because all the places where we went, it was mostly in the morning just to avoid the crowds, and now. We think that it's gonna be super super packed but we'll show you we'll show you the reality of what you see on Instagram and what it is in real life or it could not be packed we don't know we have no idea What is your first impression from this lake? I was shocked that there's not many people here because it's so big and spread out that there's still, you know, like people just everywhere. And it looks, it looks pretty and I can imagine like it during sunrise or sunset, it could look like 10 times better. But even now, like I took some shots, it looks, I think, I think it looks good. But and it, it's nice, yeah. peaceful, you know, like people are just chilling. We thought that it's gonna be super touristy, there would be lines for taking photos, but it's nothing like that. So no. I would, yeah, I would tell you guys, if you are thinking of coming here, just come for, I don't know, half an hour, enjoy, or you can come for a whole day and enjoy and yeah. yeah I think it's allowed to swim here, but somehow no one is doing it. Yeah. But I do think it's allowed. Or maybe because nobody's doing it. Yeah, yeah everyone think thinks it's not, it's not allowed. No, but I can touch it, feel how cold it is. Maybe it's freezing. We'll do the test how cold it is. And I understand why not that many people are swimming or like is it no cold? It's, it's cold. It's really cold. I think we 
found the prettiest spot on this lake. And okay, it's really pretty cool this lake. Yeah. And the good part is it's 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 pretty big and there's like walkways around the lake so you can find those hidden gems and hidden spots where you can find the view of the lake. But here yeah we took some photos so if you're following us on Instagram you can check out our photos. So Ali, what did we go? So we got some coffee with ice cream, so they just poured an espresso shot with some ice cream and it tastes so good. So good. And with this view, guys. So around this lake, you have many, many hotels and restaurants where you can just, uh, yeah, get something. But it is really cozy somehow. So the question still remains. Are the three Cime di Lavaredo and Lago di Braes worth the hype? We believe both the places are amazing. However, there are so many truly beautiful hikes and lookout points in the Dolomites that you don't want to miss. So add those to your bucket list. And to get more information about all the hikes we did in Dolomites, you can check out our previous videos or check the link in the description. So we are in the middle of our way to Lake Garda and we hope that you enjoyed this video and we still have one more hour to go to drive probably one and a half hour and it's looking pretty beautiful outside we have the summer vibes again it's gonna be nice and summer there not the mountains anymore ah there would be mountains but not the chilly wind from the mountains but we also enjoy the mountains a lot so we're gonna miss dolomites but we'll probably come back again for sure like there's so many things to explore so anyway, we hope that you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to follow our adventures more. Follow us on Instagram and one thing really important, give a like to this video. It just helps a lot with the algorithm. YouTube thinks it's a good video. It just shows, promotes it to other people as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and we would see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.